college students' views of the First Amendment are of profound importance for multiple reasons. First, colleges and universities are places where intellectual debate should flourish. That can only occur if campuses are places where viewpoint diversity is celebrated, and where the First Amendment is honored in practice and not only in theory. Second, what happens on campuses often foreshadows broader societal trends. Today's college students are tomorrow's attorneys, teachers, professors, policymakers, legislators, and judges. If, for example, a large fraction of college students believe, however incorrectly, that offensive speech is unprotected by the First Amendment, that view will inform the decisions they make as they move into positions of increasing authority later in their careers. College students' views on the First Amendment are important for another reason as well. Students act as de facto arbiters of free expression on campus. The Supreme Court justices are not standing by at the entrances to public university lecture halls ready to step in if First Amendment rights are curtailed. If a significant percentage of students believe that views they find offensive should be silenced, those views will in fact be silenced. To explore the critical issue of the First Amendment on college campuses, during the second half of August I conducted a national survey of 1,500 current undergraduate students at U.S. four-year colleges and universities. The survey population was geographically diverse, with respondents from 49 states and the District of Columbia. A surprisingly large fraction of students believe it is acceptable to act, including resorting to violence to shut down expression they consider offensive. I plan to publish a detailed analysis of the results in an academic paper, but given the long time delays associated with academic publishing, and the timeliness of the topic, I believe it is important to get some of the key results out into the public sphere immediately. The survey results establish with data what has been clear anecdotally to anyone who has been observing campus dynamics in recent years. Freedom of expression is deeply imperiled on U.S. campuses. In fact, despite protestations to the contrary, often with statements like we fully support the First Amendment, but, freedom of expression is clearly not, in practice, available on many campuses, including many public campuses that have First Amendment obligations. Before getting to the specifics of the results, it is helpful to include some brief reminders regarding the scope of the First Amendment in light of some key Supreme Court precedents. The First Amendment is very broad. There are, however, some exceptions. Under the 1969 Brandenburg v. Ohio decision, speech that is directed to inciting or producing imminent lawless action and is likely to incite or produce such action is outside First Amendment protection. True threats are also unprotected, see the 1969 Watts v. United States decision, see also the 2003 ruling in Virginia v. Black. There are other exceptions as well, for example, obscenity can fall outside the scope of First Amendment protection. With that as background, here are some of the key survey results. Hate speech While hate speech is odious, as long as it steers clear of well-established exceptions to the First Amendment such as those noted above, it is constitutionally protected. The survey results, however, indicate that many college students believe that hate speech is unprotected. Here is the question asked in the survey, with results presented in both aggregate form, in the column labeled all, as well as by political affiliation, college-slash-university category, public versus private and gender. Does the First Amendment protect hate speech? Political affiliation type of college gender all dem rep and public private female male yes 393944403843131514413944444449 no don't know 16151717171721113211 the values in the table identify the responses by percent, weighted for gender. Percentages are rounded to two digits, so in some cases the total will not be exactly 100. For more details regarding the survey see the explanation at the end of this article. One of the noteworthy observations from this data is that across all three political affiliations listed in the table, 
fewer than half of the respondents indicated a belief that hate speech is constitutionally protected. The very significant gender variation in the responses is also noteworthy. Controversial speakers One way to examine tolerance to offensive speech is to explore views on what actions students deem permissible to prevent it from occurring. The next two questions are based on the following scenario A public university invites a very controversial speaker to an on campus event. The speaker is known for making offensive and hurtful statements. The survey included a set of questions considering student views regarding actions. Amy, 